This is a rally to, weigh, to raise awareness of the environmental impacts of the budget bill and to show solidarity with Wisconsin's public workers. Hard hats and tree huggers share fundamental goals and values. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we all have a hard head. <laughs> Including the right to safe and healthy working conditions, that sounds union, and the creation of good, clean tech jobs. Since 1892, the Sierra Club has been working to protect communities, wild places, and the planet itself. We are the largest and most influential grassroots environmental organization in the United States. And our founder, John Muir, appears on the back of the California Quarter. There are 13,000 Sierra Club members in Wisconsin and 1,500 in the Fox Valley Group. That's the group I'm part of, Northeastern Wisconsin. Yeah. Yeah. The Blue-Green Alliance is a partnership formed in 2006 by the United Steelworkers and the Sierra Club. And it has grown... Yes. <laughs> Cheer anytime. And it has grown to include more environmental organizations and more unions and now unites more than 14 million members and supporters in pursuit of good jobs, a clean environment, and a green economy. Well, I'll <laughs> Some of you are probably surprised that Sierra Club is even involved. But last month, Sierra Club Executive Director Michael Brun wrote in a blog email thing that gets distributed to, to all million or so of us, something, and he says, why should environmentalists care? Martin Luther King Jr. put it best, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. That's right. That's right. Yeah. If America's workers lose their voice, then corporate polluters will have won a giant victory and all Americans will end up paying a price. Yeah. And he then added, if you need an example, here is a spectacular one. Last year's Deepwater Horizon oil explosion began as a workplace health and safety incident in a non-union work setting. Oh. No. Exactly. And it turned into the worst environmental disaster in our nation's history. If the 11 workers who were killed had been members of a strong union, their lives might have been saved. Shame! 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 Shame. Uh, there, and the oil spill itself might never have happened. We know that unionized workers are more likely to sound the alarm about workplace hazards, and so do the companies that they work for. Truth. Yes. Truth. Yes. 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 And that, he wrote, is why Sierra Club activists were among the thousands of people who turned out in Madison to protest Governor Walker's union busting. By the way, this was, this was written really after the very first day of that. Okay. And we've been going on for weeks yeah. since then. 27 days. 27 days and longer, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and that's why the club will continue working closely with our brothers and sisters in the labor movement to build a stronger more equitable America that protects the health of our communities, creates clean energy jobs, and advances policies that help working families across the country. That's an America where everyone wins. Thank you. Now, Wisconsinites are taking action in scores of communities to speak out against the policies in the budget and the budget repair bill that hurt our environment and working families. We are united from Superior to Richland Center, from Sturgeon Bay to Bayview in Milwaukee, and here in the Fox Valley. We are teachers, farmers, conservationists, public employees, 
business leaders, firefighters, students, seniors, the unemployed, immigrants, people of all colors and races, LGBT, members of the faith communities, and much more. We are Wisconsin. And we are joining together to stand against Governor Walker's attacks on the working class and the environment. Attacks on transit, recycling, and more have shown the administration's priority to repay wealthy campaign donors at the expense of working families and the environment. Shame! The Sierra Club thanks the Wisconsin Wave Action Committee and the Blue Green Alliance for their partnership in this endeavor. The one that's going on. We are rallying across the state today in many, many communities to show the media that this movement is not limited to Madison. It is a movement of the people in our communities and our neighborhoods. We have some common enemies here, including the Koch brothers. Most of us are aware of Governor Walker's financial relationship with the Koch brothers. Environmentalists also know that the Koch brothers are funding propaganda and bad science to discredit the science of global warming. They do not like environmental regulations. 